Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. Um, it's getting real, guys. For the people who came into this country illegally, it is getting real. NYC Mayor Eric Adams will be ending its voucher program for illegals. Wow. This happened one day. One day after Eric Adams had a phone call with Trump. Wow, only one phone call. They know mass deportations is next. Here's the interesting thing. One phone call, and they're stopping different programs for illegal aliens. Now, not only that, but you got different... I'm going to let you guys see a video, actually. You got different places that are even telling people, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea to try to go to... A, the United States now. Different d different leaders in other countries. In cr like that quick. Trump ain't even. Uh, he has. The inauguration hasn't even happened yet. He hasn't even been sworn in. <laughs> uh, like what is going on? That the city will no longer issue vouchers to migrants to pay for food, ending a controversial program that had repeatedly come under attack by conservatives and others. This pilot program in New York City, drenched in both humanity and controversy, distributed debit cards to migrant families staying in city funded hotels and allowing them to buy their own food. I was news reporter Josh Einiger following the breaking news for us. Josh? Well, Bill, it's a program that, as you say, generated plenty of controversy, but now its absence may raise even more questions. The so-called Immediate Response Cards pilot program was designed to help feed migrant families who'd found themselves in New York with no way to afford food. The one-year contract provided what the city described as culturally relevant food to 2,600 migrant families, allowing them to basically buy what they wanted. A family of four with under two kids under with two kids under five got about $350 per week to cover food in a program the city said would actually save taxpayers millions a year. It also reduced food waste. You may remember the food the city had been providing in migrant shelters was seen as not culturally sensitive to the needs of some migrant groups, and it ended up just going to waste. For more than a year, the city was groaning under the weight of more than 200,000 asylum seekers. Officials say the migrant population has actually reduced lately. In fact, a massive shelter on Roosevelt Island is in the process of closing. In the meantime, Mayor Adams spoke on the phone yesterday with President-elect Donald Trump, who had vowed during his campaign to mass deport migrants. Aside from congratulating him on his win, though, Adams today would not say what they discussed. Mass deportations is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Trump said he was going to do that. That's exactly what's going to happen. Now, Granted, there are there are people who want to come here and have a good life, right? But the country is supposed to be set up for them to do that the legal way. Why? Because just letting people in the country is dangerous. Why? Because there's a lot of people who hate Americans. There's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of people who don't want the country to succeed. And what was the Biden administration doing? Just letting them in. Letting them in. Hey, come on. Come on. Not only they was throwing a fishing rod and <laughs> letting them in. Now Trump's coming. He ain't even in yet. Making phone calls. Hey, uh, yeah, um, look, this is what we're gonna do, uh, Eric. Yo, check this out. Um, I know what you was doing with the last individuals, you know, Sleepy Joe, Kamehame. Uh, but check this out. We running it like this now. I'm gonna need you to take all of them out. Yeah, stop this, stop that. Uh, this house is going down. That quick. And you gotta ask yourself, why didn't they do that? Why didn't they do that? It's been almost four years. Why have illegal immigrants just been floating in the country? By the thousands on thousands on thousands. Why did it happen this quick with somebody else? That shows you something, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad. Listen, I'm glad Biden was president for the last four years. Because we got to see exactly what happened then. And we're getting to see exactly how it's different now. 
Listen to um, what's going on in Mexico at the border. Well, believe it or not, Grant, uh, I said it before, you know, on the day of the elections, uh, caravan, massive caravan, 3,000 people started walking. And just as people knowing on the on the 6th of uh, the 6th of November, the migrants and everybody started noticing that Donald Trump just became president. The Mexican authorities started acting and started going to this large group, trying to decrease the large group from continuing to walk on the north on the north of the state of Chiapas to go in direction to the northern borders of Mexico with the United States. Started telling them the migrants that you continue to walk, you can have an accident, possibly, you know, you can dehydrate yourself, you know, go back and do your process correctly. The migrants started. You, know, you hear this? The leaders of their country is telling them that are trying to flee to the United States, hey, you should go back and do it the right way. You hearing this? <laughs> this man said once they realized that Trump was elected for president, the leaders started going to the people who were caravanning and saying, hey, you, 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 you might get dehydrated. I don't think this is safe for you to continue walking over there, to continue going over there. Maybe you should go back and do it the right way. Wow. Wow. I'm shook. We started asking them, what are their thoughts of now Donald Trump winning the presidency and becoming the 47th president? They said that they are completely disappointed that they were thinking that Kamala Harris was going to win. And now that it's going to be extremely difficult for them to enter the United States of America because right. they know that there's going to be a massive deportation. All right, Oscar, let me get this straight. So Mexico now taking an active role in trying to discourage the caravans. This to me means that while Joe Biden was president, and Kamala Harris, the borders are, they could have actively taken a role for the last four years and didn't. Is that a safe assessment? Yes, it's a safe assessment. And I will tell you one thing that Donald Trump loves this word, and it is called tariff. This is the reason why the Mexican authorities they started acting. When he was president, he put a threat of a tariff of a 5% tariff in the automobile industry, avocado and beer. Now that he has, you know, he has taken power again, he said to the Mex he sent a message to the new Mexican president, said, if you continue with this, I will put 25% tariffs on everything that you're sending to the United States. So now the Mexican president had known that he has become president. They're started acting now. Slowly, they're going to start acting. But uh, it doesn't take away the fact, Grant, there is going to be a massive flow on these last two months arriving to the borders, trying to make it and trying to reach for it. Yeah. Well, great reporting, Oscar, and it just goes to show you the difference. Guys, for those who is upset, I hope you see it now. There's a difference for sure. Mind-blowing. Even Vladimir Putin said he wants to start the negotiations on stopping war with Ukraine. You got uh, the Chinese president saying they want peace. You have got Hamas ending the war all within two days. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. God bless. Shalom.